man hole gas deaths are a never ending disaster we see a lot of news where sanitation workers die due to gas attacks while they are cleaning man holes so the statistics are even scarier so our project manhole environment analyzer is a sensor integrated model which aims to prevent these casualties or chances of injuries inside a manhole principles of manhole environment analyzer is that it analyzes the environment monitors hazardous scenarios and alerts during emergencies now we will see about the components and connections of mea the main board we are using is an esp8266 node mcu it can have wi-fi capabilities and it also access a microcontroller the sensors used are mq135 which is a gas sensor then we use tem 6000 which is an ambient light sensor then tsp1820 which is a waterproof temperature sensor interfacing multiple sensors with node mcu node mcu comes with only one analog pin but in contrary the arduino boards come with around six or analog pin so we propose the usage of a multiplexer ic4051 so we are going to use two analog sensors one is light sensor and the other is a gas sensor so by manipulating select pins s0 s and s1 we will be able to get these analog values one by one through a0 in the node mcu now let's see about the arduino code of our project starting with initial code definitions and including libraries necessary for the project to run so this is a google authentication code for our google sheets so here comes the setup code to begin the mea boot up here we would be initiating the input pins and output pins and also begin the wifi to have a connection to the internet now moving on to the wide loop of our project so here we would be manipulating the select pins to get values from 4051 ic to esp8266 So first we would see how to get values from the light sensor value then from the gas sensor value and at last from the temperature sensor So here we see the different alerting parameters for different sensors so that once this temperature crosses or the gas value crosses we will be getting high probability values Here we are seeing the payload where different values are sent as a string to Google Sheets. So this is a user-defined function to manipulate the select pins of 4051, and these three are the user-defined functions for IF triple D trigger. Now we would be seeing the working of manhole environment analyzer on the normal conditions. As you see, since our project is set up in a medium lit room we see the current light value to be around 11.69 percent gas value 31% and temperature around room temperature of 26.35 degrees celsius now moving on to the fire and intense light alert as you see there is a light shown at the sensor we are reading values around 98 percent since uh, it's very bright Now here is a call from IF Triple T. Hello, fire alert! Inside manhole detected. Please perform evacuation methods accordingly. So as you see, the light status tells it's a possible fire alert. Now moving on to the gas alert. We are using an agarbatti to stimulate a process where there is a gas inside a uh, manhole. The agarbatti is brought near to the gas sensor. As you can see, there is gas detected shown in the Google Sheets. Once the concentration crosses 70, it is considered as a very high concentration of gas detected, and you will be receiving an IF triple T call. Hello, there is a heavy concentration of gas in the manhole. Perform evacuation immediately. Now moving on to the temperature alert. 
we are using our test subject as cold water which is kept at minus 20 degrees celsius for 15 minutes which would be around 0 to 3 degrees celsius now we would be seeing the cold temperature working we are interacting the temperature sensor and the subject which is a cold water uh, we can see that there is a low temperature shown in the google sheets the water temperature is around 0 degrees celsius now let's see the hot temperature working the test subject is a hot water boiled at 100 degrees celsius now let's interact the the subject and the temperature sensor the temperature is found to be around 82 degrees celsius so the temperature status says it's a possible fire and now we receive an IF critical call and live view using ESP32 cam board this is an ESP32 cam board which uses Wi-Fi to transmit video data inside a mantle and uh, thank you for watching this video